Hello there. In a previous video I mentioned going over the software to create a circuit board like this. I'm going to do it from scratch, but I want to get a couple measurements off here because I did make the footprints a little smaller than I'd like or larger than I'd like. Alright, so I'm just going to look caliper here. I'd like to extend this footprint out, so I'd like to make this 10 millimeters for the inductor here. It's just a little on the short side. Then the other one, this chip here, I want to make those a little closer. Right now they're 0, 0.10 inch and that's too far apart. I'm just using this end of the caliper to uh, touch the legs at points. Just to get a measurement. Somewhat accurate measurement of the spacing there. So that's about 1.8 millimeters. And the overall board length is 42.35 millimeters. And the width is 24.42 roughly. Just for reference, uh, for when, when I set this board, I think I like the size okay. I mean, I could narrow it in a little bit if I want to, but I, I think I'm kind of okay with this size. We'll see. I mean, I could, yeah, I'll just have to see how it works out. I might be able to squeeze that in narrower if I want, but I'm not really too worried about it. But I'll take us over to the computer here and we'll load up the program. All right, I'm at the computer here. One thing I've discovered was I've forgotten a lot about KiCad. Um, KiCad's the program that I'll be using to create the schematic and PCB files. It's a free open source software. So what my plan is, since I've forgotten how to use it, I opened up the old file and got this image of the schematic here. So what my plan is, I'm going to copy the schematic and start there to re-familiarize myself with KiCad. So, so I'm going to go to KiCad here, and then I'm going to create a new project file. I'm going to call it Solar Light. Hit V2. Save that. That's created the PCB and schematic. They'll both be MD. That's okay. So I'm going to open up the schematic here. And my plan is basically to copy what I see on the screen there to refamiliarize myself with how to lay out the schematic in KiCad. So I'm going to place quite a few symbols here. I'll start with ground. I need three of those. And I'll need a battery cell symbol and a solar cell symbol. And what else? I need uh, a diode and LED. I can't remember what the, the diode I have used in it as a shot key or just a regular diode, but I'll just use a diode. 
there. I think I used the shot key by the looks of the symbol there. That's okay. Doesn't matter. I know what I need. So. Then an LED next. That's fine. Uh, what else? Capacitor and J1 and J2. So go with capacitor. Um, let's see about the jumper. I'm not sure whether it's a connector or what I did. Mm. Maybe a connector. I can't remember. The two pin connector. Not a socket. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just use a connector symbol. That's fine. I didn't on the other one. I'm not sure what I did or why I did that. I might find out. Let's see. Next is it's like the YX8018. Uh, which I do not have here, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to close out of here. Then I need to go to the symbol editor and I need to make a new symbol. Uh, and a new library. So, let's see. New library. I'll do it as a project. Um, yeah, not as global, just as a project. We'll see how that goes. And then I'll call it um, YX8018, just so I know what it is. Okay. No, actually, no. I will. I should have called that. Um, should call that solar. Solar kit or something like that. Um, but I don't think that's going to change. Okay, well, that didn't work very well. All right. Um, library not found symbol library table. Okay, great. Um, file new library project. Uh, maybe I just delete the files and that's the answer. I don't know. Let's try that. Oh, yeah, that seems to do it. Okay. Sometimes it's not as intuitive as I'd like. Why can't I just delete them from where I was in the project files? I mean, maybe that's a safeguard. I don't know, but it's kind of annoying sometimes. So I'm just going to call it Solar Kit. All right, now I've got Solar Kit here. So I will add a new symbol. Uh, and I'll call it YX8018. Reference designator U is fine. Um, yeah, everything looks good here. Okay, now I need to draw. All right, and then I want to move that. I'm not happy with the placement. Just move that up and over a little bit. And I'll move that U. I usually like to put them top right my preference. So now I'm looking for the properties. I want to fill that with a color and make it like sort of the other microcontrollers. 
So now I need to add pins to it. I need four pins. Uh, the first one, let's see, on the chip there is LX. Uh, pin number one. Okay. I'm not sure what I had selected on the old one. I don't think it really matters whether it's input or output. Um, not in this case. Okay, pin one there. And then the next one is ground, GND. Pin number two. Next is CE. Pin number three. The last one is VDD. Pin number four. Okay. That looks okay to me. Go ahead and save that. All right, let's see what happens now. So I'll open the schematic back up. And now I am looking to place, oh. Okay. Okay, that, that might've been, yeah, whatever. I had redone this project earlier and I just redid it after stumbling around a bit, so. All right, I'm going to add that in there. Okay, one thing um, that should have, I'm going to go back to the symbol editor again. Because what I'm trying to, it should have said YX8018 in there, but maybe I need to add that. Yeah, I guess so. Just so we know what chip it is. Um, how long did I have that? Just sort of above. Yeah, I don't think it matters exactly where it is. Okay, good enough. And then I'll go back to the schematic again. Add symbol. Okay, why is that going to come up every time now? Okay. And that. Now I've got the YX8018 chip in there, which is good. And yeah, I think that'll work just fine. Now that I've got all my items on here, I'm going to, of course, have to um, connect everything up here. And then I can, let's see, how does that work? I think you build your, yeah, I've got to sort of stumble around a bit here. It's just, it's so discouraging sometimes how far or how much you forget. So it's just a bit of learning. Because so I think you can, once you get this all done, I believe, you can generate your uh, PCB parts, and then you work on the layout of the PCB, I believe. Let's see, actually, if I go, I'll close this and open up the PCB editor. And then tools. Update PCB from schematic. Uh, no footprint assign. That's nice. To a lot of those. Okay, so I need to set footprints. Okay. So that has to be done as well. Okay. I'm not going to save changes there. So let's see. Okay. Um, F 
footprint. Okay, footprint. Open up footprint libraries. Okay, now I need the YX8018 footprint. There we go. I haven't, I, I still need to sort of change that, but uh, I'm just kind of playing around right now to train myself on doing this again. PCB from schematic. Uh, okay. Yeah, so the footprint came in. All right. So that's all I need to do. Assign the footprints and connect everything up. Then I'll have the PCB editor will tell me where I need to connect everything once I get the schematic formed. So I'll leave that for another video. I'm just trying to make this so I'm not... Um, hopelessly lost when I'm showing you things. So I'm going to do it in a couple sections. The next video in the series, what I'll do is connect everything up and then we'll go and work on the PCB afterwards. And my, my main goal is to create this schematic up here on this new file. I could edit the file on the old one, but I need to learn how to do this because I've got to know how to do this from scratch so I can remind myself how to use this and how to work with it. It's not bad. I'm, I'm just relearning and hopefully you'll learn something too. If you take it in small steps and work on a small project like this, it's not so overwhelming. It's doable and manageable. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.